Here's a little bit of a more complex script that I did. What's, what's going on here, I'm not going to go through everything, but these three guys are getting different kinds of content. So let's get some tweets that have uh, hashtag OER, right? Um, let's get, um, have you guys known about Hypothesis? It's a, a really nice tool um, that lets you annotate any web page. And there's a lot of uh, educators who start using it with their students. And because it's an open standard, it has really nice APIs. So the question is, okay, you let them annotate. That's a nice active learning strategy. What do you do with all that data that they generate? Can you bring it in and then have students work with that data? Um, yes. Uh, and then we'll get some different RSS feeds. And then we're going to put it into this operator, which distributes it to different students so that they all get a random mix of these. And then we'll have a few different activities. And let's see if, how this works. So I'm going to start the graph. And, um, you know, it'll be much more interesting to have uh, these interactive activities if we could um, work with someone else. And now I'm very curious whether this will work or not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> So I um, have a little bit of help to demonstrate. So I mean, this is one way of interacting, right? And this is pretty cool already. However, wouldn't it be nicer if we could um, actually talk to him? So now this is going to take a while because now it has to go and fetch all those things that I just showed you. So you see, it's now soon going to turn all green. There we go. And let's see if this works. Hi, Espen. Hi, can you hear me? Where are you right now, Espen? I'm in Norway, in my office. Okay, well, let's uh, do a little bit of knowledge building around open educational resources, shall we? Um, sure. So, I find this one really interesting. What do you think about that? Do you see anything interesting on, on the topics that you got assigned? <coughs> oh, that's interesting. Let me look at this one. Oh, that's all they actually annotated, so there's nothing to click. Okay, well, let's try a different activity. So I thought we'd, we'd use this, this background image. We could try to kind of organize our ideas here. Um, so for example, this one, let's see. I feel like this should go find an access perhaps. Okay, that's an interesting one you have there. Good, now let's move on. So let's, let's write a little um, thing about OER. I think it's great, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> okay. See, this is why we group people based on op opposed opinions. This is a perfect example. Um, so given that this example isn't very pedagogically useful, we'll go on. Now, Espen, um, I want you to kind of summarize what you see there. So if you can just add one idea to promote OER, and you can add any kind of evidence that you want um, and then we'll, we'll keep that. So my idea is go to more bar camps and let's see, this is probably good evidence of that. But you know, I want to, let's see, let me edit this a bit more. What if we, like you do a calculation. So if we say, you know, students in Schleswig Holstein, I read somewhere 92,600. Let's say they can save by OER, let's say 20 euro per person. What would that be? Let's say B1 times B2. Yeah, but what if it was 30 euro? Okay, that looks good. Um, so I'll add that as evidence. Um, okay, so I think we'll, we'll publish this. Are you done, Aspen? Yeah. Okay, so that was actually the end of our uh, very uh, quick OER uh, lecture. Now, you know, this was a live lecture, so you saw that we took in a bunch of content from the web, from um, great uh, sources. And we generated some content. What happens to that content? We uh, automatically posted it to a WordPress blog. So that's Espen's contribution. And there's mine, as you see. Um, you can go look at my spreadsheet. Or you can listen to another great podcast. Who are I? Uh, some, someone made that. I don't know who. They're, they're probably not here. Thank you, Espen.